The Morning Insiders bring you the story of a young family trying to escape political turmoil in Venezuela and a Chicagoan trying to help them get here to the United States. The key may be the dad's musical ability. Morning Insider Lauren Victory takes us inside this immigration struggle. Paul Garcia plays a sweet melody that's from his homeland, Venezuela. The song is a reminder of a life this once professional symphony musician says he can never return to. I play in the, in the squares mm -hmm. or coins. You're a street performer? Yeah. Bars and bars <laughs> for his baby, Paula. We met the Garcias via FaceTime from their modest apartment in Peru. They fled Venezuela after a regime change. The situation of Venezuela uh, are terrible. Was there something about the fact that you worked for the government? Did that make you scared to stay there? Did yes. Yes. Why? Definitely. Because... Uh, English is not a strong suit, he admits. Neither is legalese. So I wrote to over 200 lawyers in the Chicagoland area. For his American friend, Carrie Ann Silva, the missionary, originally from Chicago, is trying to help Garcia bring his gift to the U.S. through an Einstein visa. They're granted to immigrants with extraordinary abilities. Before they scattered across the world because of Venezuela's problems, international TV recognized Garcia and his former band several times. Here they are in Aruba, Cuba, and France, teaching the world about Venezuelan folk music. Imagine the platform that he could have if he can get to the States and go from there. Looking through the pages of this stuff, I don't feel comfortable turning it in without a lawyer looking over it. Can you give us a discount? Can you do it pro bono? No one bid, so Silva tried to ask for donations online, but her GoFundMe page was initially removed. Turns out, Venezuela is a country that is not supported by the platform. It's roadblock after roadblock after roadblock. But Garcia plays on, scraping together any money he can save from his job as a high school music teacher. He makes $10 a day. My family, too, uh, liked to go to to U USA for, for a better future. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Sweet little girl. Silva's GoFundMe is back up and running, but only because she promised to send money raised to her American bank account. She says the visa application, lawyer fees, and plane tickets to the U.S. will cost thousands of dollars.